welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be talking about the Color Science SPF line and I have talked about a few products from this brand before and I actually just mentioned one of them a few videos ago in my powder SPF video. But since then I have incorporated two other Color Science SPFs into my collection and of course I want to review them for you, show you what they look like and I will also touch base on the other two that you have heard me talk about before but I won't go too much in detail with those ones as I do have dedicated videos on them. But before we get right into today's video, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell, by doing so you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video and I do upload videos every single week. So let's get into the video. Now like I mentioned, I have incorporated two new Color Science sunscreens into my collection. Now I'm definitely somebody that has a lot of sunscreens because I like to have options. Not every day do I feel like wearing the same SPF. Some days I may want to wear a tinted SPF or a non-tinted or maybe an SPF that gives me a matte finish or maybe a dewy finish. So it just depends on what I feel like wearing that day and I like to open up my cupboard and have options to choose from because sunscreen is one of those products that is a staple golden product to prevent aging. And I like to think of SPFs being your best friend. So if you find an SPF that works well with your skincare products as well as your makeup, then that best friend is your best friend for life. And you're going to want to keep that SPF with you all the time. Now I have a lot of sunscreen BFFs. I really do. And they never disappoint me. And a few months ago I did upload a video on my top face sunscreens of 2020. And I do share a good amount in that video. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave it below for you as well as up here if you'd like to check that out. So one of the new products that I picked up is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. And this is an SPF 50 with a PA++. So this is chemical free and 100% mineral SPF. This is also water and sweat resistant up to 40 minutes. This comes in three different shades and all three shades will not give you a white cast to your skin which is very rare when it comes to a mineral SPF as mineral SPFs are known to give you that white cast on the skin. So this one definitely does not give you a white cast and this is the original formula. So if you are a male or a female who doesn't wear makeup then this is going to be a great option. And I wear this a lot even without makeup and I never seem to ever have an issue with a white cast. So I actually have this on today underneath my makeup and as you can see it gives my skin that nice natural glow to my face and when you're not wearing makeup it gives a nice natural finish. You will have a little bit of a shiny face but it doesn't look greasy. It actually looks natural and healthy which I really like. So the other option is the bronze option and this option is great for people who have deeper skin tones or for people who like to bronze up their skin. That's going to be a great option for you. And the other one is the glow formula and this one is a natural luminosity finish. So this one actually has a champagne pearlescent to the SPF which is going to give you that nice radiance and dewy finish to the skin. I would have liked to have tried that one but I actually wasn't able to get my hands on that SPF so I did go with the original formula and I'm quite happy that I did. Now if that bronze formula is too bronzed for you and it's a little bit too dark for your skin tone you can actually mix the original formula or the glow formula with the bronze to tone it down and to make it a little lighter for your skin. So that is an option if you do purchase the bronze and it's too dark for you, you can do that. Now this one actually has an antioxidant rich formula that is going to keep your skin hydrated all day long. So you know sometimes when you're wearing a face SPF and you're outside all day, Sometimes these SPFs can feel drying on the skin and then your face feels really tight. This is not going to do that. This is going to keep your skin hydrated and feeling nourished all day long until you wash it off at nighttime. This also has a zinc oxide of 
12%, which is lovely. A lot of people like to have zinc in their SPFs. And this also has niacinamide in here also. Now I have tried SPFs before that have niacinamide in them and one of them is from L to MD and I actually can't use that one because I feel like that SPF pills with my skincare products as well as my makeup but this one surprisingly does not pill with my skincare products or my makeup it actually doesn't which is so amazing because I love niacinamide I love to have that ingredient in my skincare and to have it in an SPF is also lovely especially for those that have oily skin acne prone skin or you have texture it's a great ingredient to have have and this one does not make my skincare products pill which is so amazing so I love that so I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand and you want to shake it really well before you dispense the product and I love the consistency of this because it's not too thick and it's not too runny and it does have a peachy neutral tone to it so I think this is what's preventing that white cast and color science actually says that this is gonna work well on all skin tones so when you rub it into the skin, it does spread quite nicely and it feels very nourishing and hydrating on the skin and it's never sticky or greasy, which I can appreciate. I hate greasy sunscreens and this is definitely not one of them. And you can just see that it's all absorbed in and there's no white cast to my hand whatsoever. So this is very lightweight, it's hypoallergenic, it's oil free, vegan and it's also reef safe. There is a little bit of a scent to it but it's very minor and very faint and I spent $55 Canadian on this which you are getting 55 mils of product which is 1.8 fluid ounces and this is a pricier SPF line but I honestly don't mind spending $55 on an SPF that works well with my skincare products, that works well with my makeup, that doesn't break me out and of course that gives me that perfect finish that I'm looking for and protecting my skin at the same time. So when it comes to SPFs, I don't mind spending more money because this is going to be your golden product in your morning skincare routine. And if you can have an SPF that's going to work well with everything that you do in a day, then that's money well spent in my opinion. So I would highly recommend looking into this. This one is lovely and I absolutely love it. And the other sunscreen that I bought was the Sun Forgettable Total Protection Body Shield. So this is the body SPF. You are getting an SPF 50 with a PA++++ and this is water and sweat resistant up to 80 minutes which the face SPF was up to 40 minutes. And this is also chemical free and 100% mineral SPF. This is also oil free, hypoallergenic, vegan and there's also a scent to this one as well but again it's very faint. This one also comes in two shades so you can get the original formula or you can get the bronze shade as well and this one actually has that antioxidant rich formula that is going to keep your skin hydrated throughout the day and the face sunscreen has the niacinamide in it. This one does not have niacinamide but it does have shea butter so it's going to be very moisturizing on the skin and it really is. It's one of my favorite body SPFs that I've ever used and of course there's a lot of great options out there especially from the drugstore but when it comes to body SPFs I find that I have a harder time finding an SPF that I love that feels nice on my skin that's not greasy and smelly and that's why I wanted to try this one and it's really lovely so this one you are getting four fluid ounces of product which is hundred and twenty mils and I did spend sixty four dollars Canadian on this now I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand and you also have to shake this one really well also and the texture of this one is thicker than the face SPF and the coloring of this one is a little bit different but it still has that neutral tone where it's not white it still is going to look natural on the skin so as you can see there it is a thicker texture but it still has that nice neutral color to it and when you rub it into the skin it spreads nice as well and it just absorbs right into your skin without leaving your skin greasy and sticky. It's a lovely texture and as you can see my hand does not have a white cast. 
And this one also has a zinc oxide of 12% as well. So I really love this body SPF and this face SPF is also lovely. I would highly recommend these two 100%. I'm so glad that I picked these two up because I've been wanting to try the face SPF for a very long time and I thought well since I'm picking this up I might as well try the body SPF at the same time because again I don't have a body SPF that I love and this one I truly love and one of the best body SPFs I have ever used. And when you are wearing shirts like this and you are wearing a bathing suit you don't feel greasy and sticky and I feel like that's so important when it comes to a body SPF. There is nothing worse than that. So I do have two other color science products here and I have talked about these a few times on my channel so I'm not going to touch too much on these right now. I recently just talked about this one a few videos ago and I have shown you how I used this one before as well which is an under eye SPF. So I will leave these videos below for you as well as up here. But this one is an under eye SPF but it's also a color corrector as well. So this is the Total Eye 3-in-1 Renewal Care. This is an SPF 35 and this does have a peachy shade to it which is going to color correct under the eyes. So if you have a lot of dark circles and you have a lot of discoloration going on around the eye area then this might be a great option for you. Of course you can just use your face SPF and bring it up underneath your eyes and I tend to do this all the time but then there's days where I feel like you know what I need to color correct under my eyes so that's when I go to this and this does the job it gives that perfect color correcting it's giving me that SPF 35 and then of course I will put my makeup and my concealer on top of this so this does have a titanium dioxide of 7.9% and a zinc oxide of 6.7% and that's a great number when it comes to an under eye SPF. So it does have an application like this and when you apply it to your under eyes it's nice and cooling so it does help to depuff in the morning as well and you just press down on this little button here to dispense the product out and then you can just go right underneath the eyes with it and then pat it in under the eye. So I will show you what this looks like on the back of my hand just so that you can see the color of it. And as you can see it does have that peachy tone where it's going to color correct all of that darkness around the eyes. And this consistency is a little bit thicker than the face SPF but not by much. This almost reminds me of a concealer consistency and you can put your concealer on top of this after if you need to which I typically do because this color doesn't match my face but it does color correct really well. So I do like this option for the eye area. This is also vegan and fragrance free and comes in four shades from lightest to darkest. So if you're somebody that doesn't wear makeup or concealer but you do have a lot of discoloration around your eye area, then this could just be the product for your entire day for the under eye area. This is going to conceal, color correct and protect with the SPF 35. So I do have the medium shade but I'm definitely going to be purchasing the fair shade next as that one would be closer to my skin tone but because I put an under eye concealer on top of this then it's not noticeable and everything just brightens up after I put a concealer on top so you can do whatever you like whatever works for you and I did pay $98 for this and you are getting 0.23 fluid ounces which is 7 mils of product so it is pricey but if you are somebody that doesn't wear makeup or concealer and you have a lot of discoloration around the eye area then this is going to be a great product and for any reason if the color doesn't match you then you can put a concealer on top to lighten up the under eye area even more if you need to to have everything blend. This is a lovely product and I honestly would recommend this. And the last color science product that I have here is the Sun Forgettable Loose Mineral Sunscreen and this is an SPF 50. So if you are somebody that wears makeup on an everyday basis then this is the product that you're going to want to pick up to reapply throughout the 
the day to keep your skin protected from the sun. And if you get oily in the T-zone or anywhere else on your face, this is great to apply all over the face to matte out your skin, but you're also getting that extra protection. So this one is very easy to use. You just flip it upside down, tap the bottom of the product, flip it back up, take the lid off, and then you have a little nice brush head, and then you just swirl it across your face, and it just protects your skin throughout the day. I love it. And as you can see, you can see the powder flying in the air here, I'm sure. And this is great stuff. This also comes in four shades. So this is the medium shade, but they do have a fair shade and two other darker shades than this one. And these are great products to have on hand. And you don't really want to see the color when you apply it to your skin. They are pretty translucent. I will see a little bit of a color when I apply this, but it does blend in pretty well. And come winter time, I would have to go down to the fair because this one would be too dark for the winter months but it's great and I love it so much so this one is $98 as well and you are getting six grams of product which is 0.21 ounces you can find package deals with these where they have three in a package or two in a package so if you know that you're gonna love the product then you might as well just buy the package of three you will get your money's worth that way and then you get some extra products that you can throw in your gym bag or your purse or whatever and they are just lovely to have on hand and this is something that I use every single day and I can't go a day without having this with me because I just want to make sure that I'm staying protected at all times. You can use this down your neck, you can put this on the decollete if you need to and another great place to put this is the tops of your hands to keep your hands protected from the sun as well and I tend to do this a lot in the summertime and it's a wonderful product. So I would highly recommend this one as well. I would recommend all four of these Color Science products, but this one really is great to have because you wanna keep reapplying your SPF throughout the day and you can when you have a product like this. It just makes life so much easier. So that is everything in today's video and I really hope that you found this video helpful. And again, I wanted to introduce you to these new SPFs that I picked up because I love to find different SPFs try them out and review them for you and give you guys options as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I honestly really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.